Shalom brothers and sisters. It's imperative that I come on here because over the past 10-15 minutes, um, both Times of Israel and Jerusalem Post um, posted about a meeting that is supposed to be scheduled for tomorrow, July 10. Um, they both posted it on their official verified Twitter X pages and on their Telegram pages. Um, I follow both on, on both Telegram and Twitter X. And so, yeah, over the past 10, 15 minutes, um, the first article is from Times of Israel. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah LCC and USCI Director uh, William Burns discussed efforts to reach a ceasefire and hostage deal in the war between Israel and the Hamas terror group, the Egyptian presidency stated. The president affirmed the Egyptian position rejecting the continuation of military operations in the Gaza Strip, the Egyptian presidency stated in a statement. Senior U.S. officials are in the region to push for a ceasefire and hostage deal today, uh, the 9th of July. Um, but Hamas has said a new Israeli military operation threatened the talks at a crucial moment while Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced non-negotiables ahead of the discussions. An Egyptian security delegation will head to Doha tomorrow on a mission, quote-unquote, to bring viewpoints closer between Hamas and Israel in order to reach a truce agreement as soon as possible, Egypt's state-affiliated al Qahira news cites a senior source as saying. Egypt and Qatar have been leading mediating efforts in the nine-month war between Israel and Hamas in hopes of ending the fighting and securing a release of Israeli hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners. Um, and then over the past 20 minutes, Jerusalem Post has posted both on their Twitter X page um, and on their Telegram page Gaza ceasefire hostage deal talks to resume in Doha and Cairo, um, July 9, 2024. There is an agreement over many points, the senior source said, adding the negotiations will be back in Cairo on Thursday, according to Jerusalem Post. Gaza ceasefire negotiations will resume in Doha on Wednesday and then return to Cairo on Thursday after talks on Tuesday between Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi and U.S. Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns, Egypt's state affiliated Al Qahira News TV, stated. An Egyptian security delegation will head to Qatar's capital on Wednesday on a mission to bring viewpoints closer between Hamas and Israel in order to reach a truce agreement as soon as possible, al Qahira News quoted a senior source as saying. Uh, there is an agreement over many points, the senior source stated, adding the negotiations will be back in Cairo on Thursday. Egypt and Qatar have been spearheading mediation in the nine-month-old war between Israel and Hamas in hopes of ending the fighting and securing the release of Israeli hostages in Gaza in exchange for Palestinian prisoners held in Israel. Um, heading to Doha, senior U.S. officials were in the region to push for a ceasefire after Hamas made concessions last week. But the Palestinian militant group said a new Israeli assault on Gaza on Monday threatened truce talks at a crucial moment and it urged mediators to rein in Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. President Sisi affirmed the Egyptian positioning rejecting the continuation of military operations in the Gaza Strip, the presidency said in a statement after his meeting with Burns in Cairo. Sisi also stressed the need to take serious and effective steps to prevent the expansion of the Gaza conflict in the wider region, the presidency added. And so, yeah, these meetings will take place in Doha and in Egypt Wednesday and Thursday. 
okay? And whatever happens during those meetings, I will update everyone immediately. Uh, <laughs> really, I wish we could just fast forward um, to the November 5th elections. I am still questioning, uh, you know, what will happen you know, e even if Biden does win another four years, a second term, uh, which would be Obama's fourth term, uh, he wouldn't be sworn in until January of 2025. Okay. And so really, <laughs> I'm kind of questioning how much reporting I'm going to have to do between now, today, all the way to January uh, 2021 of 2025, uh, because really, in order for Obama to, you know, force Biden to step down because of his age, okay, we know that he celebrated his 81st birthday last year in 2023, okay, uh, and so, yeah, um, we, we know that uh, presidents are selected, not elected. I'm so glad at 47 years of age, I have never voted, <laughs> never have and never will. Uh, I'll only vote for Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and, and for him to rule and reign with rod of iron for a thousand years. Uh, politics is very corrupt. You don't even know if you're voting for someone that's 100% human. Uh, really. And so, yeah, um, yeah, I wish I could fast forward the uh, button to November 5 and then to January 20, 21st, when he is sworn in again. Um, I'm kind of questioning if Biden will win a second term, which would be Obama's fourth term. And uh, yeah, we, we just don't know because I know I have a video um, from Newsmax and Newsmax reported uh, several days ago um, that uh, they, they were talking, they were examining the, uh, um, the amendments and they were examining the legalities as to um, what would happen, would it be 100% legal if Biden won the elections, okay, if he was selected by the Illuminati for four more years, okay, but he didn't, he would change his mind about who would run with him as vice president. Would Kamala Harris be asked to step down and Obama at the very last minute step up and run with Biden in order to defeat Trump? Um, and, you know, w would, okay, if he's too old, okay, and, and we know that he suffers from senile dementia, at least second stage um, Alzheimer's. Um, psychiatrists and psychologists have examined Biden um, and, and they are convinced, uh, health officials in the psychiatry uh, field are convinced that he cannot even be in the first stage. He would have to be in the second stage of Alzheimer's. He couldn't even stand up properly during the debates with Trump. Okay, and, uh, and yeah, people think I, I'm uh, um, Republican or Democrat. No, I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I, I, I'm, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't vote. Yeah, I, I will never vote. I, I am full-blown conspiracy theorist. I, I will not vote, especially knowing the scriptures in Jude. You don't even know if you're voting for a, a Nephilim human hybrid. Uh, yeah, a descendant of fallen angels. Good Lord. But yeah, at the same time, uh, yeah, if, 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 if Biden won four more years, okay, um, and if he ran and he appointed Barack Obama to be the vice president, then Obama would come in peaceably, fulfilling Daniel 1121, and then ask Biden to step down. He would become president, okay, um, after Biden is sworn in on the 21st. And so, yeah, I cover that. Um, I did a video, um, not too much more than 10 minutes. I'll, I'll leave that video in the description box. But yeah, Newsmax is thinking that Biden is going to appoint um, Obama as the vice president. This is actually legal. I didn't even realize this would be legal. But Clearly, someone's going to have to be the vile person of Daniel 1121, and if he is appointed to take over, uh, you know, to run with Biden as vice president, it would be legal. It's not illegal, okay? And so, yeah, um, 
many people are, are questioning if, if, if Obama is really going to be the man of sin. Um, I, we're, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, yeah, these two articles, um, they prove that there will be meetings uh, Wednesday and Thursday um, in Doha and in Cairo. And what happens during these meetings, I will let everyone know about if anything is signed. Um, I, I think this is just going to be a teeter-totter for months and months and months until the Antichrist finally comes on the global scene. Um, it would be nice if Rosh Hashanah, October 2nd, um, was it, okay? Because we know that uh, the two calves that were born, um, one in Pennsylvania and one in um, Texas, September 20th of 2014, and then five days later, September 25th of 2014, um, in Jewish year 5774 and in Jewish year 5775, um, there was a black calf born in Pennsylvania with a Roman numeral number seven written on its forehead. Five days later in Texas, a red calf was born with a sans serif seven written on its forehead. Okay, we know that this took place in 2014. Um, and the bride, the hidden bride, is marked by 777 in Revelation 21.9. We know the Dow Jones Industrial, um, it dropped 777 points, 777.68 points on September 29 of 2008, which would have been the 29th of Elul of 5768. And that was for the bride and the five wise virgins, all who are marked by a triple seven, because we know that the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, they are the meek of Matthew 5.5. 5. And from Matthew 5.5 5 to Matthew 25.7 in the KJV Bible, 777 inclusive verses. They know nothing is too hard for Adonai Elohim. Okay, as proven in Jeremiah 32, the 777th chapter of the KJV Bible. And so, yeah, the Dow Jones Industrial dropped 777.68 points September 29, 2008 um, which would have been the 29th of Elul of 5768 okay then on um, then, then in 2014 September 20th and then September 25th okay marking that feast of trumpets the two calves were born okay and then we know that X marks out Carbondale, Illinois, the August um, 21st, 2017 Great American Solar Eclipse crossed over seven Salem's. And then the April 8th of 2024 Solar Eclipse crossed over seven Nineveh's. Okay. And, and, um, uh, it formed an X over Carbondale, Illinois, you know, and I, I know from pharmaceutical college, you know, when I just took basic, um, uh, uh, organic and biological chemistry. The only element on the periodic table of elements that's represented by six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons is carbon. And the X over America is over Carbondale, Illinois. You know what I'm saying? Carbon is the only thing that's, that, that points to uh, the mark of the beast, 666, okay? And so, yeah, you know, it... it, it we, we all know, all of us pharmacy people, we, we know that um, uh, carbon is six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons. You know, they specifically, the elite members of the Illuminati, descendants of fallen angels who kept not their first estate, um, they deliberately named Carbondale, Illinois, um, with the base word of carbon, knowing that carbon is represented by six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons. They know it. They, they knew all along. It's been going on. Fallen angels are the global powers of Ephesians 6.12. Okay? And so, yeah, it, it has to be a sign. There's no other way around it. And so, yeah. Um, so, I, I'm just, I'm questioning what will happen Wednesday and Thursday. We will just have to wait and see. Um, we're getting so close, brothers and sisters. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we fly soon. Um, really, you know, and, and I really watch um, Pastor Patrick. Yeah, he, he, uh, 
he knows about the Great Deception. I, I, I know he knows about it, but, you know, if, if he were to sound the alarm about the Great Deception, it would probably anger uh, pretty much all of his subscribers. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, at least he's preaching Luke 2444, you know. Uh, but, yeah, he did make a perfect point in his last video. Um, from the October 7 massacres all the way to October 2nd, uh, this Feast of Trumpets, 360 days, a perfect, z a, a, a perfect, how do I say it? A perfect um, circle is 180 degrees and then another 180 degrees forming a perfect 300, 360 de degree circle. And yeah, 360 days was the original calendar that Yahweh used, okay? Uh, it's not supposed to be 354. It's not supposed to be 365 or 366. It's supposed to be 360 days. And from October 7 to October 2, October 7 of 2023 to October 2 of this year, um, 360 days. Really, I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm not setting a date, but we just have to watch and see because obviously X marked out Carbondale, Illinois, um, with the August 21st, 2017 eclipse and the April 8th of 2024 eclipse. And obviously that has to be a Genesis 114 sign. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's obvious that we are to fly home soon. You know, um, from 3983 BC, the year of the fall, uh, which was when Adam was 21 years of age, um, yeah, you know, um, 4004 BC was dated as creation, the, the finalization of creation, okay? And then if the fall happened when Adam was 21, that would place 3983 BC as the year of the fall. From 3983 all the way to 2017 AD, 6,000 years. And then you add an extra seven years, you come to this year of 2024 AD. Uh, Really, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I wish this would be the acceptable year of the Lord. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So, yeah, um, I'm going to leave the links to these articles in the um, description box and in the pinned comments. So I, I will keep updating people as to what happens Wednesday and Thursday uh, when officials meet in Doha and in Cairo. Shalom, brothers and sisters.